crunch time again. Uh, I was sorry about that, don't I? Uh, I've been getting hounded again. And it's been going on since 2004. From a wretched, low-life little criminal, basically. Um, how did we first meet? I was 23 years old and picking my child up. She was three years old from nursery and live in a tiny little shitty town called Toxic Torquay, English Riviera. <clears throat> the biggest shithole on the planet, basically. And the only reason I live here still is because I love the views. The coastal views are astounding. The countryside is beautiful and the people stink. There you go. I'm only being honest. And everybody else says it. Toxic talk here. It's a shithole. And people are shithole in it. So I moved away from that mentally many years ago. Um, okay. So this person, if you could call it that, uh, her best pal at the time, her man, was interested in me and I was not interested in him. Um, I was in a relationship with the father of my children, in love, completely committed and nothing like that, you know, but he persisted. And then some other jealous bitch, because I've been surrounded by jealous bitches my entire life, it's caused me no end of trouble. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm 51 on February the 3rd, 51. So when I was younger, I did look good and I didn't even know it, you know what I mean? I didn't even know it. People just years later were like, what are you when you were younger? And that's what caused a lot of hate towards me, I realised. Um, and this bitch, fucking hell, is she the bane of my fucking life? I'm waiting till you hear why. Um, so yeah, I was picking up my child from nursery and I came out the nursery and there was a best mate, um, with the total attitude because a man had been running around after me and some other jealous bitch who wanted my man father of my children decided to make it a problem and went around saying she and it, your man is after it and this and this and that and I got set up totally I went to a kids party and was totally verbally abused and attacked it with my, my, my father of my children and I just stood up and said it's not my problem if your husband wants to lust after me and that was exactly where it was at. That was exactly what it was. And they they expected, they truly expected my partner to stand up and kick off on me like I'd done something wrong when I hadn't, hadn't done anything wrong. And he didn't. He stood up and stood by me. And he always has. And that's the deal. You know, that's the deal. And that's what they can't stand as well. You know, I had a, a, the father of my children is... <clears throat> A, a, a very well respected man and was a great father and still is a great father to my children so bums up did absolutely brilliant there and they totally failed so when I brought my child out the nursery there I was faced with some drunken mad woman and I've, I've got on with her since yeah this is years ago of course I'm 51 nearly February the 3rd. So we're talking when I was 23, this is a long time ago, and it's all been sorted out. And yeah, so I was confronted and I was like, let me go home, let me go home, let me take my child home. No, no, no. Smacked me right in the face. And that was it. I just, I couldn't stand there and take that, you know what I mean? It was just, I had no, I had no choice. So I fought back and won. And guess what? A fat, Get mate come rocking down the road, Sheila Thompson, Sheila Kelly, and jumped on me too. And my, my baby is clinging off the bottom of my skirt, screaming the place down, you know what I mean? That trash, her kids are... There's, I can't... There's one of her children who I really respect, but the rest of them are a gang of animals. 
Um, and I'm being honest, you know, I'm being honest, criminally insane, all of them. So I've really had enough at this point. Like, you know, I've had 16 years of all of this and I'm waiting until you hear the details. So, <clears throat> yeah, I, 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 I walked away with respect. Um, I had to fight. So my daughter, my child, my baby was free. She was traumatised. Utterly traumatized. Can you imagine that? Pfft, how bad is that? You know, but that was what I was faced with, and that's what I had to deal with. So then uh, life moved on, and um, oh, it's just I've, I've wrote, I've wrote. There's there's a page in front of me, and it's just full of notes of what's gone on. You know, basically when I first moved to Torquay from Liverpool. I was getting shouted down the street by gangs of guys that I didn't know from anywhere, called me Sheila, and I'm going, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Basically, you go, well, I don't know you, in the pub or anywhere that went. And, and they would be like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. And I'd go, who are you? And they'd go like, oh, oh, eh, uh, eh. Uh. And it was a gang of coppers, it was a gang of policemen, yeah, all mates, and it was, her boyfriend, um, her ex-partner, her father of her children, had just been in prison for 14 years for stabbing a policewoman with a screwdriver. Liverpool, Google it, because I'm going to be adding all these links to this video, because I have just about had it. You know, abuse from the state, constant, tortured by the police, and I get the filthy, dirty bed mattress of the police given my life this, yeah, so this is it now, I've had enough, <sighs> I'm so pissed off, can you tell, you know, I've, I, you look back on my videos, yeah, of me going through stages of starvation and poverty and no home and what they've done to me, and uh, wait until you hear this, just wait until you hear the content and see the evidence and just look at it for yourself. And you judge me. You judge me, okay? Because this is just a bit too much. Mm -hmm. Stressed. Bloody hell, do I need a volume because I fucking hate making videos and I apologise for... I'm, I'm showing anxiety because it's piling up in the sense of she's doing the police's dirty work. She's doing what the police want to make. She's working for the police by harassing my life. And that's what they did when they electrocuted me. One of their fucking cop mates, yeah, when I came back from India, he kidnapped me off the street. That was the report to police complaints. He kidnapped me. He didn't only fucking electrocute me and attempt to murder and nearly kill me. A hundred thousand volts. Anyone, many have died. Many thousands have died from that. I survived and it took me three years to get over. I, 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 I was absolutely destroyed in absolute pieces as my videos express and I survived. And I've just got this fat pig in my face and I just, you know, she's a fat pig mattress and that's the facts of it. And I talk straight, yeah, I do talk straight. And if you'd been through the life I've been through from the States since I was a kid, you'd be like, that. how the fuck is this girl, woman? still, you know, sane? Why hasn't she had a mental breakdown, completely cracked up and threw herself off a cliff? Because fuck them, fuck them, fuck the pig mattress, yeah? I ain't having none of this, and if I die fighting, I'll die with a smile on my face. So let's go. Uh, so, the pig mattress, because that's what she is, she's a pig mattress, yeah? A, a, a dirty little shag for the cops and that's the thing when I was younger when when I was at that age younger um, a, 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 a senior detective in Tokyo Place took a, a fancy to me and I spoke about this recently to a friend and it was a question I brought it up in a video before and it was that he made himself plain obvious and my partner the father of my children I was quite insecure, we were only young, you know, and I'm wild and free, and but I was a million percent loyal, and so was he. 
for all the time we were together, but we always doubted each other and things like that. That's what you do when you're young, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> and he made it plain. He told people in Talkie Town his, his intentions towards me, that he was mad about me and crazy about me and all this. Imagine how much the father of my children felt about that. He was not happy. And I just think, is it because I wouldn't sleep with you? Is, is, is that it? Are you the narcissist behind all this? Or is it somehow interlinked? I'm always trying to figure out why. Why am I the target, you know? But yeah, so she was shagging talky police basically and that's they were mis mistaking me for her because we're the same similar height uh, build accent hair color and uh but i'm damn better looking than everybody in the town says it i just when people come up to me and go are you she and i go no i'm the good looking one and everyone laughs out loud and goes looks at me twice and goes actually you are I even a best mate now who's trolling me on social media, yeah, making up accounts and that, right, Maureen Ogilvy. And she sat there and she's like that. When she met her, she went, you are the better looking one. And I think that's where a lot of this stems from, jealousy, you know. Uh, but it got far sicker than that. Um, so I am the only one out of them all who's educated herself. I educated myself went and while well, they sat in the pub like ourselves and got drunk and you know were just nasty basically fighting and carrying on and i was sitting at home working my arse off and going to college and and that's how i ended up working for criminal justice in the home office and qualifying in law and changing british legislation and blah 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 so these wasters they they didn't like it they they didn't they don't people who haven't got a, a have never achieved anything or and never will when they see someone succeed it hurts them it hurts them and they can't live with it so you know i not only was with basically the hottest guy in town um and we were in a proper relationship everyone tried to get involved in that and tried to destroy it and bitching and whinging about it but it just has gone on for years and the silly old fat pig mattress yeah when we split up m myself and my partner the father of my children you know she she couldn't wait to drag try and get into bed with him what a dirty sad cow you know what i mean and he kicked her to the curb he, he, she's like you tell her you're with me and when it come down to it, she, he said to me, I've got something to tell you. <laughs> I'm like, what? And he, he told me that he's with Pig Mattress. And I just laughed my ass off, to be truthful with you. I just was like, what? It was the funniest thing I'd ever heard, because she's just a Pig Mattress. She's really a Pig Mattress. Like, really, you know, foul-mouthed and ugly in that way, like uneducated not a brain cell and when i link in the videos and all the information to this video on youtube and social media and you see what she is and then you can look at me and you judge you judge because i tell you what any sane man on planet earth would kill to be with me than be anywhere near that and that's a fact and I think that's where it all stems from. But um, the point being is that she's criminally insane also. And she's an absolute vicious little fucking cow. And she stabbed my neighbour in 2004. Okay? I, it was just unreal. I was I, I was asked to work for the Home Office Criminal Justice. And, I, you know, I work for Tulbury Council Education. And working in the community with the police and all kinds of things, yeah? And the police went against me when I was working in the prison service. Probation walked out for me. All of this is in my previous videos. And this night, this night, yeah, in 2004, was just, just unbelievable. Um, I had, um, I was one of the best uh, English language student 
house mothers, I'd say, in Tobay, if anyone had any problems, the children would be sent to me because I was damn good at what I did. And um, so I had a lot going on in my life, you know, uh, responsibilities. And one night, just, it was just unreal. Um, there was people at my door and that, it was just one of them. I came out of my two, I had a great big house with two living rooms and we went out into the hallway and the hallway went right down to the kitchen and right through the front door and then up the stairs. And I came out, it was just nothing alarmed me. I just don't know how it really, it was so long, this isn't 2004, this is 16 years ago. And I came out and I looked. And I couldn't believe what I could see. I couldn't believe what I could see. A gang of guys in the street and a pig mattress. And I ran out there and they yielded knives like proper in. There was war going on and a big kitchen knife being flung everywhere, right? And I'm like, what the fuck? What? What? Ran out there, right? Straight up, ran out there. And went, give me that, right? Took the knife, mate, grabbed the knife off the guy, threatening the people, yeah? And went, give me that. And went, whoa, 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 what's going on, what's going on? And when I got the knife off him, I went like that. And the reason I did that, I have got a drink of my hand because I'm not fucking stressed over this and it's hard to make this video. Mm-mm. As it's always been, but this is the greatest injustice ever done to me, and that fat pig mattress has made my life a fucking misery ever since. And I, I took it, and because it was like a fret, I put it behind my back and was going, Whoa, whoa, getting in the middle of them, going, Stop, stop, what, what, and the kicking and punching at each other, then, yeah. And but the knife was, you know, not in it was not, you know, as bad as it could have been. And she came behind me, grabbed the knife out of my hand, behind my back, and went, <laughs> slashed my neighbor. She fucking slashed my neighbor. She cut my neighbor. <sighs> that was the end of it for me. That was the end of my career. <sighs> Everything I'd worked for, Everything gone. The police arrived. They were the air best mates. It's the truth. Uh, I am upset about it because I'm just tired of it. I went just like, and I knew, I knew then and then my career was over, you know, to be in that melee, to be in the middle of all of that. Wigging. Just sit and laugh and watch this video and enjoy it thoroughly, but you know what? Who's the winner? Me. Because I'm exposing you now. I recorded her. I had to record her. Um, I had to... The police set me up and my barrister told me and I had to go. She never even went to court. She never even went to court. I got it all. I was settled. And a copper mate in the, in the, I, I, there was an ID parade. And her boyfriend at the time, I remember, before the statements come out, because I didn't know anything. And he drove past me and he stopped and he went, do you want to lift me, sir? And I went, no, I'm only around the corner. Why? And he went, I think it's out of order. I think it's out of order. And I went, what? what what's out of order? I didn't have a clue what was going on. She'd had the statements before I got mine, right? That she was walking away and I was facing five years. I'd lost everything. And I was facing five years in prison. And the solicitor and the barrister are saying to me, you're going to jail. You're going to jail for five years. I've got kids, you know. That was the weirdest thing that ever happened to me in my life. And I don't care about getting upset about it. 
I went through fucking hell. Hell. <laughs> Who was going to believe me? Who was going to believe me? And I didn't know what to do. I was always moving my eyes and I didn't know what to do. So, I was that stressed out and I'd lost everything and my life was in ruins and I'm facing five years for a crime I didn't commit. And there was no hope for me at all. So what I did, as other people, everybody knows it. Now they know it, they didn't at the time. I, uh, I got her to come to my place, to my, my house. I arranged it so she would come to my house and I sat down with her and I discussed the whole thing, every detail of what happened, my actions, her actions, everything I've just told you. But what she didn't know was I bought a tape recorder and press record. What would you do, people? I was going to jail for five years. My children I wouldn't have seen grow up. I was innocent and I couldn't tell anyone because she was running around the town. Like she's she's on the video and on a plane calling a complete stranger to be the fact. She was screaming all over talking to her. She's a grass, she's this, she's that, she's a fucking this and fucking that. I'm getting frets 24 fucking seven on my phone. No end of it, constant. A whole family, a, 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 a son is in prison right now for, 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 for one of uh, the most severe crimes in Devon. Uh, I stabbed the police. I was being gang abused, gang abused by pig mattress and the police. And I, I couldn't do anything about it. There was nothing I could do about it, nothing. You know, just take it all. And she was laughing in my face uh, every time I looked up. She was rubbing my face in it. And at the time, my dad was dying. And all that time when my dad was dying, I couldn't get a phone call. My phone was harassed 24 fucking seven by Pig Mattress. Pig Mattress, the fucking fat, horrible bitch, was fucking harmed me to death. I had boulders through my window through my fucking window with, with with students in my home, with my children being threatened by eh, criminally insane fucking kids who bite ears off people and headbutt women in the face and that's what they're saving time for and kill people, try and kill police women with screwdrivers. I'm in the fucking middle of this without being able to speak, with, trapped, utterly trapped by the police set up, by the fat pig mattress. All the abuse, I was just, my fuck, I'd lost everything, I'd fucking lost everything, my career, everything I'd worked for after being in an abuse system, after all the fucking shit I've been through in my life. And that's what I was faced with. How bad is that? You know, how unjust is that? And uh, one time, she, she, some, she set me up and I was in a bar and she turned up and it gone on and on and on and on and on and uh, she attacked me. So it was like, right, this is it, crunch time now, this is it, right, this is it. So I fronted it out, I'm like, okay then, let's go, let's fight. And her son and his mate came up before that, right, and she stood there hesitating and hesitating, yeah, in the doorway. And I'm stood outside going, okay, this is it. Now, you want to fucking fight with me? Let's fight. And uh, all of Torquay Town knows it because the guy went up in guilt, sat in a party afterwards and went, what he confessed to what he'd done. She had him run at me and fucking batter me to the floor. And then she jumped in. And then it was silence everywhere. Of course, there was. We were on the car. Harbour in Turkey, the police were coming and all the rest. So I've just had enough, you know, I've really had enough. Um, so that's what kind of a pig mattress she is. A weak, absolute scumbag, you know. Uneducated, 
Vickers pig shit, you know, gets planes turned around in Alicante, from Alicante, you know, she can't even get on a fucking plane and behave herself, you know what I mean? And I've been targeted and tormented for all these years, since 2004. I I left, when, when I went to court, they said, okay, we cannot differentiate between the two of you. Thank God, because the victims saved me, really. Um, because the, 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 my barrister told me, her copper mate, who was thrown out two years later for corruptions, robbing old people, all of this will be linked in below this video. And it will keep being linked in till I've told my whole story, because it's time to tell my story now. And, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm blanking out because I'm not fucking, I've had enough of it, you know. Um, yeah, oh, even better. Because I work for the Home Office and I work for Ministry of Justice and I was senior to certain police officers, yeah? And they made sure I wasn't after that. All my neighbours were like that. I I was the bad guy. Because I worked for criminal justice, because I was involved with the police on a work level, the, the claim was I'd done the stabbing. And I'd been covered up by the police. So it was just beyond it absolutely fucking beyond it um i walked out of court and i i gave a statement right i i i i i couldn't believe the situation i've been in i was looking at five years and she never even went to court she just laughed in my face and constantly utterly sabotaged my fucking life um and when I came out that course, the judge said, because I made a fucking verbal statement, to be right, I did. He said, you can go now. I'm like, that, you can fuck off, basically. I didn't say that. But it was just like, this, it's not, it's not good enough. Well, I'm free. Is that it? Is that fucking it? And I read out a statement. I'd written it all the way to court, yeah? And I read out a statement. And the press picked up on it and everything. And it's like a, a, a danger to society and the police get corrupt. And, and he said, you leave this court without a stain on your character, complain to the chief of police. Yeah. What's, what's the point of that? The fucking police set me up. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, so this is a stabbing case, mum's misery. I had to resign from my jobs. I never said who because I had respect for the Home Office and Criminal Justice and... Adult Education Council, Tubby Council I worked for. I was asked to work for every single position I was in. Criminal Justice Officer. Gone. Gone. And you know what I did after that? I just got paid petty, pathetic compensation from the child abuse for all them years that I fought for years and qualified in law and changed British legislation. You know what? It collided. In January 2005, it all came together at once. And I went, you know what, you can fuck right off and go on the plane to India. <laughs> Created my own medical company and one job and stand sweet bitch for it. Um, but the thing is, when I come back, literally, when I come back to Turkey, PC Wade, the other fucking pig mattresses mate, kidnapped me. In my other videos, all their mates, yeah. Uh, kidnapped me and I left you to, to, this is it just unbelievable what I've been through he electrocuted me a hundred thousand volts for nothing other than arguing back and winning verbally just like you know being smart with my god than they were and it was just you fucking bitch we're going to give you this and we're going to give you some more of this and we're going to cripple you to the point where I was suicidal and then they had some other wicked bitch, my neighbour, which will be linked in as well. She gave me three and a half years of torture and drove me to suicide. That's what happened. And I won the case against the police because it was just blatant. They tortured me. And PC Wade was sent for retraining. 
and immediately he was on my case stalking me. When I was suicidal, even in the hospital, as my other videos say. But going on from there, fat pig mattress, yeah? Pat, that bitch, yeah? Hey, 50th birthday, Ryan's Bar, Tokyo Abbey Road, yeah? Um, there was a bloodbath stabbing. There were so many people there. Not one witness. Not one witness. There was blood pouring out the doors. Well done, Toki, please. I'm sure the victim will thank you. Do you know what I mean? I know what, what happened. Without even being there, I know wh 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 why that happened. Congratulations, you know. It's just sickening, isn't it? Um, so, I'm having fake accounts made up, being trolled, being threatened in the streets. Uh, before she got prison for the plane incident, where she's just a maniac lunatic, she always is on there. And it's it, it is visually faces, you know. Right before she went to prison last Christmas, I have got a video of being in a bar with one friend and a whole gang come after me. Instigated by her. Sheila wants to see you. Sheila, there she was. And a whole gang of men. Men came at me. Me and my friend, my friend's sitting there going, Lisa, I, you told me life was bad, but I didn't know it was this bad. You know, I've been running to the fucking New Zealand Embassy Palace. I've been fucking forced homes by the police. I've been through kangaroo courts. And I've got that fat pig reject mattress. Stalking my life, doing the filthy pigs work for them still. She's still shagging the police in the respect of fucking doing the filth work for them. Abuse by proxy. Long arm the law. That's what I have to live with, yeah. So, um, you know what? I, I, the, the, they, they make false accounts, yeah. And they come after me. And there'll be names in them accounts to say, it's us, yeah. And when I see it, it's like, oh, you're having a bad life. And although I'm upset now because I'm recalling how bad things have been in my past. And what I've had to get through. I'm just looking thinking you know when you see the video of me in the hairdressers just mind my own business which is what i do and that fucking animal pig mattress fucking nasty horrible filth criminally insane coming at me through a window i've got my body cam and i'm going like that and believe me i'm just sitting there thinking whoa carry on carry on Give me all the fucking evidence I need. Give me the evidence. And you see me turn the camera back and my face smirking. Because she is that much. She's just backward. She's, she's got a screw loose. I've got all the evidence on planet Earth. My solicitors have got a confession. They all know. They all know the police screwed me over. They all know the police set me up. Solicitors and barristers are sitting there, hearing her confess to stabbing my neighbour. Oh yeah, I missed a bit. So there was guys outside my house, yeah, and uh, I didn't know who they were. Mm -mm. The following day, after I came out the police station, um, I went into a bar to see someone. I had to sit, yeah. And there was a young kid, just a young kid, just a kid, yeah, younger than her own kids. And he was sat there and he had, he, he, he recognised me and he started asking me because he wanted to know whether he was in the shit, didn't he? And he, he had some blood splatter on his t-shirt and uh, he hadn't been arrested. And he, 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 he told me, that he did it. She told him. He did it. 
he was too off his head to fucking know if he did or didn't do it. She did it. She took the knife out of my fucking hand and slashed my neighbour. And the way I directed, forensically, it cannot be argued with. She took the knife from behind my back, hiding it to, 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 it's okay, it's not, no threat, no threat. She took it, she swiped it from behind my back and went <laughs> at my neighbour. On the God's gospel, swear by almighty God, truth. And she told some poor kid just to do anything, anything to get herself out of stabbing someone. He did it. And then it was the book was passed to me. Her own boyfriend was like disgusted with her. So there you go. Um let's just check this a minute. Oh yeah, it, you know, even like my daughter's prom, yeah. My daughter's prom, limousine outside the house, all the friends, my daughters are very well respected in society. Never in a day trouble in her life. Her kids are criminally insane, bar one. Um, and one of the kids, the one who's doing all the time for biting someone's ear off and headbutting a girl in the face, getting years for it right now, was going past in a car, making the most serious threat at me. He'd put my windows in and everything. And I'm taking photos of my daughter going, there he was. This kid, that kid, that, that son of his, is criminally insane. He would just come up and set fires in my house and we'd all be dead. That's, that's what he's about. This is what I was living with. It's un unbelievable. So I'm made up to be, you know, I'm just happy to be telling everybody what's happened. Uh, so, I'm just... Anything I miss out, I'm going to add to this video, okay? She, yeah, she's been on my case. She's had people threatening me. I've got evidence that she threatened me. She was around the corner last Christmas, just before she got jailed for the, the flight thing. Um, Copies of Facebook threats of, I'm around the corner, you fucking bitch. I'm getting it and all this shit, yeah? Um, threats prior from other people. I've copied that too. Evidence of she wants to see you in the pub, gang fucking attacked, um, all videos, it's all videos, in the hairdressers, there she is, she's just released from prison, it's like the London Bridge attack, she shouldn't have fucking got out of prison, she should be in prison right now, and if I get my way, she'll get the sentence she deserves, she's a dangerous to society, she's criminally insane, she truly is, and she stabbed my neighbour and she should go to jail for that. That's only right. So, hang on. I just want to, because I hate, when I make these videos, I always end up missing stuff out and being flustered by it. Because it's difficult to make them. Uh, hang on. Whew. Everything that's gone on, it's got the, the, the depth and length. You're not even hearing a half of it. Can you imagine your dad dying and you can't even get a phone call to know if he's dead or alive because some criminally insane pig mattress is blowing up your phone. Night and day. Concert. No end. No break. So I couldn't even couldn't even have a phone, really. Never mind, now my dad was dead. That's what was going on. Um hang on. Oh yeah, the point, the point of the situation is now is that she's threatening violence towards me constantly. And the truth of the matter is, if I end up in any kind of melee with the criminally insane fat pig mattress, yeah, guess what's going to happen? The police are going to arrest me. The police are going to falsely accuse me. The police are going to falsely charge me. And I will be ending up convicted because some fat pig mattress, low down, dirty scum shag, right, fucked by the police, is harassing my life to death for the last 16 years. So there's where it's at. 
So if she comes near me, body cam on, yo. Yeah. And this is why I'm making this video too. Because I need to defend myself and the reporters I'm involved with need to know this on video and hold this video. So if that fucking tramp comes near me, right, they can release the evidence of what's happened and every, every word I say can be proven. Every word I say. So it's protection, isn't it? You know, because if she touches me, I'm the one who's going to get jailed for it. That's just the way my life is now, so... Protection, prevention, prevention's best than cure. I'm not gonna be set up again by any of them, especially not fat pig mattress, you know. Uh, yeah, that's where it's at. That's truly where it's at. Self defense. Um, I'm gone. Yeah. There you have it, people. So. I'm, you know, I've been, got emotional and things, but can you imagine how damaged my life's been by all of this? What it took away from me, what it's stolen from me, the trauma it's caused me. I could have been in jail for five years. Innocence, I was innocent. And she was laughing, her fucking knickers off, shagging the fucking cops. Talk you, please. Oh, we can all be evidence. The whole town knew she was fucking a copper. Eh? It was known by everyone. And they all accused her of spy cops. Pig ignorant fucking daft bitch. Pig mattress. Screw loose. You know what I mean? Her ex partner, the father of her children, had literally stabbed to death a policewoman in Liverpool with a screwdriver. Spy cops. And the fat pig ignorant pig's mattress was too busy getting her knickers down and rocking off cops to even fucking realise that. There you go. There you go. There's a lesson in wisdom, eh? Spy cops. Talk you, please. Sheila Thompson. Sheila Kelly. Fuck you all. Justice.